Are you ready? started crashing and I got laid off. I waited for a year and a half to get yep. into West Valley. Many of these girls waited a year yep. and a half and the right. disappointment that I felt the first time around when I didn't get to get into cosmetology broke my heart. But I waited. I waited because it was something that I could afford while I supported myself. I live alone. I'm, I'm a taxpayer. I vote. Yep. I have the right to get an education at a, at a fair price. And, and as do everybody else, there are still tons of women and men waiting to get on the you know on board with cosmetology at West Valley so please don't make those people wait anymore and please don't close our school we need this place Woo! Woo! Yeah! Mark, I was uh, 16 years old attending Cleveland High School when they told me about West Valley Occupational Center that they had a cosmetology program I attended I attended cosmetology at 16 my father at the same time was attending the print classes 
My brother was attending the automotive classes. My brother-in-law attended classes on how to fix typewriters at the time. We are all working in the field that we were trained in. This is 25 years after. And we're all helping the economy and we're all uh, tax paying citizens. Yes. We need programs like these. My yes. children, my son just graduated from the AWAC program at West Valley and my other son is enrolled at the AWAC program at West Valley Occupational Center. This has saved them from, who knows, maybe dropping out of high school. So I thank God for West Valley Occupational Center and programs like it, please. Don't put more people out into this unemployment rate. Yes. We need to employ the current students, not put more out there that are unemployed. <laughs> My name is Jessica Holsey. I'm from Cosmetology. Um, I'm also a taxpayer. Who's a taxpayer here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired of wondering where my tax dollars are going. They're being squandered. We can at least have this one thing to help us out. I work at a grocery store. I don't want to work at a grocery store the rest of my life. You know, I support myself on $10 an hour. You know, want to get out of this. Ms. Gallatson, I, I've met you several times. I know you are a mother. You are a parent. Yes. Why would you do something that hurts the community you were sworn to represent? Yes. That hurts mothers and fathers. These yes. are the parents of our K-12 yes. students. Ms. Gallatin, I hope you heard them. I hope you heard them, Ms. Gallatin. Some people have totally made tremendous sacrifices to be here today. I hope that this will pierce your heart to understand that we're not standing out here in the cold rain just for our own health, but we're standing here for our future, for our children, for our country. And I just pray that you will understand this, this plea from our hearts to yours. You're here to work for us. Do your job. Do what's best for your community. Do what's best for your country. There we go.